Welcome to American Guitar. I'm Larry Fermato and this is Mason. What's happening? Say hello again. Say hello again. No, just hello. Hello. <laughs> Mason. Yeah, man. Did we have a good time visiting with Mark and all yeah. his buddies over there at Somnium Guitar? It was very interesting. Very man, informative. what a cool little company he has. And folks, I've got to tell you, you are going <laughs> to love these guitars. Yeah. Yeah, he's a smart guy. Patents, like two or three patents on three patents guitars. that I know of. On Nobody's gu changed for a guitar all these in years. forever, but Mark has found a way to do it. Yeah, yeah and uh, we're gonna guy. we're gonna give you thanks to Mark and his cool factory that he's got going on over there with all his cool people. Uh, yeah. We're gonna give you a glimpse into Somnium Guitars. Right after you hit subscribe, like, and email me at Larry at AmericanGuitar.rocks. Mason. Yes. Let's go to Somnium Guitars. All right, let's get on out of here. Hit it. Hey, Mason. Yo. We're going to Somnium Guitars today, and they're right up the road. I can't wait to get there. Welcome to American Guitars. I'm Larry Fermato, and I am in Brooksville, Florida. And we are at Somnium Guitars. And uh, obviously, it's an American guitar being made right here in Brooksville, Florida. So come on with me. We're going to go inside and meet Mark. He's going to tell us all about these great handcrafted guitars. Let's go. We're here at Somnium Guitars, and we're here to see Mark. And Mark is the president of Somnium Guitars. Hey, Mark, Mark, how, how you are you doing? doing? Doing great, man. How are you? Great. I'm great. I'm great. And uh, Mark has built these beautiful guitars, and he's going to tell us all about it. He's going to give us a great tour today. But uh, for starters, I know you, you do stuff for just the local people around here, right, Mark? Yeah, we, we build guitars, but people keep calling us. Oh, you guys are a guitar shop. Well, not exactly. Oh, man, I need some strings. You got to help me. So we decided to carry some, you know, basic parts, strings, cables, connectors now and then, tuners. So we can keep people from driving for an hour just to pick up a pack of strings, help out local musicians. And uh, they can come in here and see what we're doing. At the yeah, same time. That, that's that's awesome. And uh, right here, man, yes. that's beautiful. So what so what is this? Well, this is my concept. There have been modular guitars done before. You might notice that you know the pickups look a little different. Of course, it's got a standard Tele uh, bridge pickup and a mini humbucker in the neck. Right. And a lot of times, if you love the telly shape and love the feel of the neck, but now you want to try a humbucker and you want to try or an active humbucker, you want a different sound, you're usually going to have to pick up another guitar. Right, right. right. Of or course. Why not just pick up another pickup? <laughs> That's okay. awesome. So if I want to put this EMG humbucker instead of my single coil, then all I have to do is snap it in. And that's it. In that's it. That's it. Wow. Or if I want to try my single coil pickup in the neck, I just flip it over and now I've got it in the neck. Because you can't do that with a regular telly because it's the wood's not cut that way. So what we did was we made one guitar that can become any other guitar for tone. Right. So if you want that traditional telly tone, and a lot of times when you experiment like this with pickups, you discover tones you never imagined because you never did this right. with a regular telly, or you put the mini humbucker, or a filter tron, or a P90 soap bar. You know, we make these cartridges. You might notice this one's cut. They all have a, a cutout. These are made of aluminum with uh, stainless steel latches. You can see the little latch, uh -huh. uh, latch yep. buttons in the back there. Yep. That's what holds them in place. There's no magnets here to interfere with the magnets in your pickup and uh, it's all solderless. That little circuit board right there lets you use a screwdriver to put pickups in. So if you don't know how to solder, no big deal. <laughs> you can swap them in and out in just a few minutes, split the cartridge apart. It's got four screws in the back where the finger, finger latches are. And that's all you do is... So, so basically, if this particular guitar 
came with these pickups right here. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want those pickups. I could take the cartridge out. Yeah, go ahead. And I, I could take this cartridge out right here. And then I could basically change this pickup to any pickup I wanted. Sure, you would probably, if you're a single coil guy, maybe you like the Strat sound. So you might have a full-size cartridge that has all three pickups in it, because we do that. You can do that right. with this also. Because when, when, you, when you take this out, you've got an open palette. You can put just one pickup, you could put two, you could put three, you could put slanted, you could put straight. So what we do, you notice these cartridges, they'll have different holes. So if you're a humbucker guy, you might buy two or three of these that have the humbucker cutout, and then you can experiment with your own pickup. Maybe you're not an EMG guy, maybe you want to put a Seymour Duncan in there, maybe you want to put a Lindy Fralin. Uh, or a Lindy Fralin Tele pickup. So you'll swap this out or you'll buy a second one that's got the open hole and you can uh, insert a Fralin single coil right. Tele bridge and listen to that. So you can experiment at will, you know, with whatever combinations and these are reusable so you're not stuck with just this EMG in here. It can, in five minutes, it can have that, that Seymour Duncan or DiMarzio in it. And uh, it doesn't have to be passive. It can be active because we have a battery compartment so this is all simultaneous. I could have an active EMG. This this one isn't, but I could have an EMG 81 in here. Right. And a passive telly in the neck and use them together. That's incredible. And so, Mark, you you got the idea to do all of this, and and you you patented. You have three patents. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I have the first patent was for a completely modular guitar, which three years ago we featured at NAM. Uh, winter NAM, and I'll show you some of those later in the tour. Right. Um, but what we found was that musicians really, it's what they want is tone. They want it, they don't ha like the tone of their guitar. They have four or five guitars, sure. but the necks are all different, and one is too heavy. One's, you know, we can give you the guitar that you love. If you're a telly guy and you love this telly, you can play anything you want. You can have dual humbuckers, dual single coils, three single coils. And so we get got away from the modular body kind of concept, even though it's cool, you'll see it. Um, but really, being able to get that tone that, that inspires you, that mm -hmm. really makes you makes your song come to life. Right. That's what, when you start plugging these things in and listening, you know, yeah, yeah, and then you plug in another one and all of a sudden, it's like sure. the sun, or the clouds wow. part yeah. in the sun. It opens. Up. That's that's really what it is, because not you don't know, right, until you buy a guitar, it yeah. comes with whatever the factory puts in it. Right. Or you order a couple of whatever, Duncan's. P90s and, or P90s, yeah. you, hey, I don't know if this, you know, let me try this. My neighbor likes this or my buddy likes these. And you plug it in and then it's after all that soldering and rewiring and then you then you plug it in and uh, that's not really what I was hoping for. Right. Then what, you gotta rewire it all over again. Sure. Why? Snap, 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 you're done. And you've got the telly you love. And, uh, and that's, so that's the concept we're, Work, so work just, just kind of like recap a little bit about this. So you started this this company in 2016? Yeah, 2016 we got our first patent and so we wanted to wait until the patent office said okay because there have been other modular guitars before but not as versatile, not as completely uh, universal as this thing is. So uh, once that started we went to 2017 Winter NAM. So you can find those videos online of our yeah. early modular guitar. And then we went back in the summer, refined it. And so ever since then, we've been selling them here and there, but really still basically coming to this ultimate design with these aluminum cartridges and uh, stainless steel uh, round latches. So that's really, we're fine tuning everything. And uh, I think it, right now it's 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 ready to go. We're just coming up with new body shapes a little bit. Right. Doing some new finishes. You'll see some of these guitars in progress. In okay. Our, when, we'll take you back there. <laughs> All right. And, good. And you'll good. Get to, you'll I know get we're to looking forward to that. Magic happens. Yeah. So um, so we here at American Guitar. We're we're really really excited to be here. Um, all of this is made right here in the USA, right here in Brooksville, Florida. Uh, except for your necks, correct? Yeah, we have a machine shop. We could make the necks, but it's really not something that it, 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 we're good at. It's a specialty. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I leave it to, so we have a, a guy in Virginia, a company in Virginia called PST Guitars. 
plug for them because they do a great job. Scott at PST makes all our necks for us. So we can, if you like the standard, you know, this is kind of a slim C profile. Right. If you'd rather have a deep soft V or a, a nine and a half inch radius instead of this 12, we can make that. That's the beauty of it. You can have this system with whatever neck fits your, your playing that you're comfortable with. Right. But we let, we let them take care of the neck. Now the bodies are machined, you know, formed and machined here from scratch. These start out as aluminum blocks. I'll show you that later. Uh, and we machine those, the latches, you name it. It's all made right here in Brooksville, Florida. That's awesome. Hey, Larry, there's one thing that I think I talked to you about earlier, but I didn't really get into it so much, is that um, a lot of guitar players in America love that American traditional look. Okay, right. like the tellies. Like, yeah. You've, you've seen some of the other ones we do. They don't necessarily always like the look of our, you know, pickup system. You know, they've said, man, I love my Gibson Les Paul, right? right? And I love this look, I can see all this wood, you know? Right. You know, too bad I couldn't just remove the pickups <laughs> and put in whatever pickup I wanted. But wow. In fact, you actually can, because we've done this. Uh, both this, this, uh, this Les Paul and the Epiphone over there, uh, same thing. They, uh, they have interchangeable pickups. We have built a guitar because we had a customer said the same thing. I like this just dual humbucker look. Can you do that for me? Right. So we built a custom. It was a purple. It was even his own shape that he liked. So same thing, same thing with this Epiphone. Wow. And uh, we maintain the, the look. In this case, these pickups come out together. Nice. Uh, the EMG is an active pickup, and the, uh, you have a, a Gibson passive mm -hmm. in the neck, which you can flip them around. And the battery is hidden in here for the active That's pickup. That's just crazy. Crazy is what we do here. So <laughs> I just thought you might you might want to know that. Now we try we don't normally want to cut up customers' guitars. Right. So we bought these ourselves. Uh, but it's another possibility. If you love the look, we can preserve the look. Obviously, we can't copy Gibson's shape right. exactly, but uh, we can give you that that style of invisible, completely invisible pickups that you can swap out anytime you want, either individually or together. That is just awesome. That's a little bonus for That you. is a bonus, mm -hmm. thank you, Mark. Okay, Mark, so take us away. We, we're we're right, anxious we'll to get this, back there and see what's going on. I'll take this telly with us. Too. Awesome, let's go. <laughs> so what is this room? Well, Larry, this is, uh, this is what we call our guitar room. Okay. So we, uh, fabricate a lot of the guitar here after it's machined. Finishing touches, assembly, installation of the electronics, testing, uh, and um, uh, just any little little things that need to be assembled, cartridges, all the, the small final types of things get done in this room. Awesome, awesome, great. And actually this is where it starts since we happen to be here. Um, this is our, we call it our drying cabinet. Some people call it a kiln. So we buy wood Look locally. Look at this. This is incredible. This is local wood, um, alder, maple, uh, canary, maple, just different different things. That you can see that there's a couple of blocks glued together. And uh, then we, we plane this, machine it nice and flat. We clamp it to glue it, let it dry because it needs to reach a, a lower moisture content usually than when it comes from the lumber yard. And then it gets machined into a body. like this. Wow, look at that. So when it comes off the machine, basically with a little finish sanding, it's it's almost ready uh, to be painted. You know, we have a few little extra steps. We have to add the jack mm -hmm. uh, uh, there. We have to put a hole through for the battery cable, little things like that. So Ray, our tech here, he'll prep, uh, he'll prep that kind of stuff here in this room. And then it'll go to, uh, to our paint booth and we'll get it primered and painted and all that. That's awesome. And uh, so I see on this one, this model right here that's gonna be coming out. Mm -hmm. So it's really contoured and grooved, right? You even have the comfort for your- Yeah, we found that on some of these, um, you know, a lot of tellies are just, they're, they're made to be flat. That's how Leo Fender designed them. But 
so many people, the reason he's got the strat, he's got the comfort curve right. for your for your forearm. And then of course the belly cut. Yeah, that's so what I need. I need the belly cut. Yeah, so you can <laughs> Yeah, so you can really lean it back. So we thought let's incorporate that uh, into the into the guitar, round the edges off more so again, more comfortable so you're not you know, when you're yep. spending a few hours on stage, like you'll meet one of our uh, local artists that that uh, plays this thing so uh, it's just more comfortable yeah and it's used to, you that's got great. that classic shape but you got more comfort and, and it's an American guitar that's what I love the best of it yep that's just awesome and we got next down here look at this yeah we have an assortment of necks and most of them I have a standard our our kind of default is a slim C profile with a uh, Slim C profile with a 12 inch radius. Mm -hmm. And we have, you can get a maple shaft, rosewood, pawfaro, ebony, whatever a customer wants, we'll, we'll do that. Um, this, is a, this is a deep V. I don't know what, wow, kind, of, what kind of neck you like, uh, what wow. the feel of it. I'm kind of yeah. a slim neck kind of guy myself, but I actually yeah. like that. Uh, that feels good. Wow. You know, now if you if you like slim, then this is a that's like a, a an Ibanez Wizard thin yeah. shredder kind of neck Woo. with a 16 inch radius. Awesome. So now you're you've got the 22 fret for your telly style, but we also do, and we'll show these to you in a minute. We also do other shapes. Some of our we design, mm -hmm. uh, and some that are you know like a regular strat. There's a strat shape on the wall there. Um, so it's very very versatile we're not gonna we don't just make two shapes and that's all you get right you know we want you to enjoy your guitar and if you're a, if you're a strat kind of guy and that's the kind of body you like then we can and do this it is kind of cool too right this is what is this abalone what yes. is abalone yeah. yeah yeah neat see i knew that <laughs> <laughs> awesome great i feel like a kid in a candy store here this right? is just awesome moving on well, once the bodies get done we we have to assemble the cartridges which if you want to take a shot of ray over there He's putting one together right now. So you have a pickup. This is a soap bar, of course, that'll go into, go into the aluminum shell, which we machine out in the shop. Because the soap bar has the, traditionally, you normally screw it down through the middle right. uh, into the wood uh, with springs, but we had to make a little frame for it to accommodate the aluminum so that you can still adjust it from the top for your height. Uh, when it's in the guitar and it's still, you know, we, we found a way, we just made a way to fit it into the aluminum cartridge. And so then what Ray's doing is he's assembling the front and the back half of the cartridge and uh, to complete, you know, to complete it so it's ready to snap into the guitar. Wow. So that's part of the, part of that process. And it's just, everything is just done manually by hand. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's just great. Well, that's this is great. what you, this is what you would be doing if you wanted to, do you have one of those? Yeah. If you wanted to wire wire this into this guitar, mm -hmm. into this cartridge, all it takes is a little screwdriver and you connect the wires into the board. Right. Put the two halves together like Ray just did. And now it's it's ready to be snapped in and played. It's, it's just amazing. It's amazing. I love this. I, I love this whole concept. Yeah, this is that little, little circuit board we make that uh, allows you to connect your wires in here without solder. Because that's a big thing. Is a lot of you, a lot of people will take it down to the guitar shop. Uh, you know, whatever it may be, they need to get it wired in. It's a, you know, fair fair amount of work because you got to mm -hmm. take all the strings off. If it's a strike, you got to take the, the whole pick guard off. Whatever it is, you got to desolder the old ones, resolder the new ones, and then that pickup's not returnable because you've just right. modified the wiring on it. Uh, but this means you can easily swap them out anytime you want and not modify, you know, not not change the wires or have to even cut them if you don't want to. Awesome. All right. So what? I, so who's this young man right here? I never met him before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is Randy McNeely. He's a guitarist extraordinaire here from the Tampa area. And uh, we've actually had him beating the heck out of our guitars on stages for over a year. They survived me. They're pretty hard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he is definitely. I do about 200 shows a year. So. Well, I want to love you like you were leaving.
the best friend I ever wanted. That's that's just great. Yeah. I'm really glad you're here because I can never follow that. <laughs> well, Randy normally plays the telly. He's got I play one, a telly, one. yeah. This has got a lot more frets. I wasn't used to it, so. So he's yeah, he's a telly guy. He's got a red version uh, uh -huh. of, the, of that one. And uh, so when when the bars open up, and you see the Randy McNeely band out there, you got to go see him because we show definitely is, will. His show is kick ass. So that's why we're we're proud to have him play our guitars because. When you go see a show, not only are you going to see our guitar in action, but you're going to have a hell of a good time. So yeah, sure, it's pretty cool. Like they got this. Um, so like this has a, two pickups. And, uh, I probably should put some of that This uh, this is really cool because the EMGs. Oh yeah, because now that's a setup. That's something you haven't seen before that's so far, deep. where you can have a complete setup. In this case, it's a humbucker single single. So like, in, well, yeah, snap it all the way in. How to snap it in but yeah, that's our that's our uh, previous. There you go. We hear there, the click. Yeah. All right. So if you find a if you find a setup that you like like this, if you're a humbucker single single guy, you can have it, or if you find a, a combination of just two, right. we can make a full size cartridge. That way you've always got your, for example, a blues. This is yeah. my blues pickup set. Yeah. Yeah. This is my rock pickup cartridge. Yeah. So you've got your in, immediately all your favorites at your fingertips. Well, Randy, I really appreciate you giving us a demonstration here yeah. and uh, we're gonna be in touch and we're gonna get your info also. So when you're oh, out yeah, playing, let us know and we'll, we'll get you on the show and yeah, we'll let everybody know where you're at. Thank you, Randy. Uh, yeah. All right. right Moving forward, right? Almost forward. Almost forward, okay. I'm going to show you a couple other brief things while we're here. Sure. Not only do we do guitars, we also do basses. So oh, nice. Not to be forgotten, so here's here's one of our basses. Now, we still have to refine this a little bit. Oh, wow. More. Same concept. So you can take the, take the pickups out the back. Yeah. So you can go from jazz to precision to music man pickups, whatever uh, combination you want. Same concept. Uh, Very cool. In this. And then we had, this was one of our original guitars that we made back in 20, set for the 2017 Winter Nam show. Wow. When we were doing modular, you know, completely modular guitars where, you know, the, the, uh, the sides of the, the whole guitar comes apart. This one was a little bit, a little bit more work, but I could take, <laughs> I could take the body Incredible. off of this. I could put a different body on it if I wanted to. We've made that part easier, but like I said, we're not, uh, we're not really as, as uh, focused on that right now. Of course, the pickups came out also if you wanted a different set of pickups. And for that matter, if you didn't like the fretboard, you could remove the fretboard also. <laughs> Look at that. Without having to change it, put in a maple, put in different frets, put in a fretless, you know, whatever yeah. you wanted. So as you can see, the neck is aluminum. So we machined that here also. That's the crazy. The whole guitar is aluminum, other than the fretboard. Yeah. So that's one of the other patents what I have is on, is on some of these features. So just thought I'd give you a little bit of a taste of the uniqueness, uh, uniqueness here, but uh, of what we're capable of. But that's really, really the pickups is what, is what you know guitar players want. They want yeah. to experiment. They with want tone. that tone. They want to discover that tone that excites yeah. them. That makes their music that Absolute, much more Absolutely, absolutely. All right. All right, we'll take a walk out okay, into the Okay, I'll follow you. All right. All right, this is our machine shop, or you're gonna see part of it anyway. So, we manufacture, we manufacture both the metal and the wood parts here. Uh, let's head over this way. 
So we're in our machine shop area. As a matter of fact, let me show you over here real quick. I'll grab. So once we get done with this, of course, this is what we have left over. And I'm going to show you where we put this. Okay. To get our bodies made. So this is a, a CNC mill, for what's called a three-axis mill. So we have we have fixtures here right now. This fixture is set up to make this. This is the insert ring that goes in the center of our guitar so that we can uh, snap our pickups into it. And it takes several steps to make this. And we also do the body. So the block of wood will get bolted into there. And of course, multiple tools will come around and, uh, and cut, the, cut the wood out. And we flip it over and we do the back side because it's got, we'll show you in, in the room what that body, you've already seen it, right. has cavities on both sides. So that's where we, we perform this function. We also have another milling machine here, which we've used to make some of the cartridge parts. So let me show you some of those. So we start out with a block of aluminum, solid, solid aluminum, and we start machining it. This is part of one of our cartridges in progress. And of course, as we complete machine it, this is for a Telecaster neck pickup. It gets hollowed out. So what you saw Randy uh, 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 Ray assembling, uh, these are the different cartridges. So you can get the Humbucker Single Single, which was in one of our Vision guitars. You could get a complete Strat setup like this with your slanted nice. bridge, which of course you can flip and put a slanted neck pickup. Yeah. So uh, whether it's, uh, I think this might be for uh, a filter Tron, but it's all, it all gets machined from the same aluminum. So once we, once we finish this cartridge, we're gonna polish this and then we anodize it. So we have another room where we do the, uh, our own anodizing. So that nice. it gets that nice black shiny finish. But that's, uh, this is where we make all this stuff. That's just incredible. We also make the, the little latches. This will become one of the finger poles that we grab. Right. That goes in the back of this. So it's all, all these little pieces all these little pieces we machine here from from raw aluminum incredible that's just incredible what it takes to get to actually get to this to the finished product is just it's amazing a, it's really a lot of work if we sat it would you'd be amazed it really takes a lot of work but it's got to be right because this has to snap into that guitar perfectly right when you're on stage jumping around yeah you can't afford to have uh, anything loose, loose right. static or even fall out so it's got to be rock solid so we take the time to make sure the precision is there on each one of these incredible okay Andy, uh, one of those bodies please <laughs> and then hand me, hand me one of those, like the uh, red, uh, the old vision, things like that. Or, uh, hand me the, yeah, the prodigy, why not? So then we have to finish the guitar. Of course, we have to do our own painting. We seal this with a, a very thin epoxy layer. So that seals in the wood to keep the moisture right. out of it. So it stays in this shape and doesn't warp or twist. Um, we have options of what we want to do. We can, you know, paint them solid, you know, primer and uh, polyurethane uh, finishes is what we put on these. And then they'll get wired. The, uh, the compartments get insulated for, uh, you know, with foil or, uh, or liquid uh, the black paint that insulates them electrically all the wiring's got to go in them we also we've been experimenting a little bit this body looks uh, a little burnt because it is we actually took a torch to this really thing. yeah we torched it and uh, ray torched it and and sanded it to get off uh, some of the some of the surface burns to kind of give it a contrast right and then of course what that becomes is you can if we candy coat it which is a transparent paint which has a little bit of sparkle in it Wow. So you could get, we're, we're thinking of maybe doing red. I think we're actually, we, we ordered some of this, this, wow. rich, this rich blue. 
Um, so we're gonna try it, try this guitar body in this uh, rich candy blue. Yeah, that's cool. So you know, it's, <laughs> I like uh, that. Yeah, it's it's something that we have a lot of fun with is producing things that not just sound great, but they look great. They look great. They look, sure. you know, we need, we want to, we want to make an impression when you're on stage, not just with how you sound, but with how you look. So there's, you know, we're, we're open to suggestions when a customer says, hey, I want to buy one of your guitars. Can you make me something in red or something different? No problem. That's what we do. Awesome. Get. Well, Mark, this has been an exceptional day for me. And I know it's going to be great for our, our viewers with American Guitar, and I can't thank you enough for being gracious and letting us in here and sharing your beautiful, beautiful uh, workplace with us. It's oh, just been awesome. Absolutely. Thank you nice so to much. Have you. All Thanks right. very much. Mason, that was so much fun, and you know what? It was informative. You know, yeah. so I, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this show because I know I enjoyed it and I know you did as I well. I enjoyed it a lot. And, uh, you know, the people at Somnium Guitars are so nice, just down to earth, great, great people. And Mark was so gracious allowing us to come in there and uh, just take up pretty much most of his time, all of his day, really. We, we, made, we made them stop doing everything, didn't we? Yeah, and, and what about uh, his artist, Randy? And Randy was awesome. And, uh, Amazing we're gonna, player. We're gonna have Randy on the show here with us, uh, not too in the long distant future. I can't wait for that. That'd long distant future, how does that not work? Not in the too long distant future. Too long distant future. Well, we're, Some, in, a, we're in a time warp. Yeah. That's what it is, um, yeah. till November. And uh, you know, I'm holding this Gibson BB King Lucille I guitar. I was wondering about that. Where'd you get that? Ah, I, I, you know, I, you know me. I, you know, I can't help myself with guitars. Can't help yourself. But we're gonna do a show on on this BB King Lucille here really soon. That sounds like. And uh, you guys are gonna want to see that too because we're gonna have a lot of cool stuff to talk about. But back to Somnium Guitars. I just want to thank them. You know, they were so 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 gracious and kind and nice. And, uh, and smart. And listen, you guys need to go and contact Somnium Guitars and get yourselves one of those Somnium Guitars. I'm gonna order one. Uh, me too. Hey Mason. <laughs> yeah. Take us the heck out of here. All right. We will see you guys on the next show. A Gibson SG, just subscribe to American Guitar YouTube channel and contact us at www.americanguitar.rocks. Click the link below for more information.